The Pixel 10 isn't that far away and according to a load of reports that we could be seeing this sometime in August and in classic Google style we've seen a load of leaks of this phone already and there were even pictures taken of Google filming what looks like the commercial for the Pixel 10 and how do we know it was the Pixel 10? Well the storyboard said it was the Pixel 10. What we've also seen from those leaks actually is that the Pixel 10 probably isn't going to change too much and I don't mind that because it's designed last year with the Pixel 9. Google absolutely killed it and I really like it probably one of the best designed phones of the year but where we're going to see more of a change is going to be in Android 16 and we've had the QPR beta 1 of this now for a week or so and we're not that far away from Android 16 full release. The latest QPR Beta 1 gave us a good look at what we will eventually see and gave us a good look at Material 3 Expressive. One of the big pushes from this slight UI redesign is blur. There is a lot of it from the notifications and quick settings menu and even the app drawer. And one part where Google didn't add any blur to was the always on display wallpaper. And you might be sat there thinking, well, there isn't an always on screen display wallpaper. Well, soon there might be because Google has been playing with one and we have it working on the Pixel 9a. Google is looking Looking at upgrading their version of always on display and calling it an ambient display with wallpaper support. An always on display wallpaper isn't groundbreaking. We've had it on the iPhone for a while and of course we've had it on the Galaxy S25 series for a bit as well and they're two of my favourite features of the always on displays on these two phones and actually if you cast your mind back way to 2018 and Android 9 we even saw this on the Pixel 3 before it was removed from Google but over the past few months Google have been working to reintroduce this to Pixel phones and I have it working here on the Pixel 9a thanks to Michelle who helped me set all of this up and I've got to say it looks fantastic. We saw this briefly on the Android show a couple of weeks ago and while Google didn't actually refer to it we could clearly see it and it got me excited because this is one feature that I think Pixel devices have been missing. The version that I have at the moment is actually a very early look at what this might eventually look like and I'll show it you working on a few different wallpapers now. It looks very similar to the version that we see on the S25 Ultra and the wallpaper remains on the lock screen it's just blurred and then it dims. You can also see that the notification icons also appear on that ambient display as well. Without any notifications, when the wallpaper blurs, the clock just remains fully visible, which is exactly what you need, so you can easily at a glance see the time. And if you do get notifications, the clock will just move to the top left while still being visible. And I'm sure you've seen this, but in its current state as I have it right now, it's actually really buggy. So you'll be able to see little flashes on the display and you can see it just jumping every now and then. See, it just happened then. And that could just be easily down to the always on display feature not being fully supported on the Pixel 9a. And I know a lot of people hate the idea of a wallpaper enabled always on display because they worry about battery drain but luckily if you don't want it you don't need to have it on and if you go into the settings under the always on display this is exactly what it'll look like and you can see that there is a toggle there to switch that always on display wallpaper off if it's something you don't really want enabled and I'm glad that Google give people the option to do that because like I said a lot of people don't want to have this on because they're scared of a bit of battery drain. A bit of internal code also mentioned that the always on display wallpaper feature will only be supported on particular displays which could be bad news because it could mean that current Pixel phones including the Pixel 9 series might not be supported for this always on display wallpaper which hints towards this actually being a Pixel 10 exclusive but I suppose we'll see that when we have the Pixel 10 launch in August. It's still in development though and all the characteristics for this to work we actually just don't know them yet. Now Pixel phones use a special low power state when the current always on display is active and it might be that the refresh rate or color reproduction might prevent this ambient always on display feature from working on current devices. Hopefully we see this come with the next QPR beta and I'm hoping we do see it because it'll give us a bit of an idea of what pixels are going to be actually supported and whether this is going to be a Pixel 10 exclusive or not. Let me know what you think though of this always on display wallpaper feature coming to Pixel phones and I'm excited by it because I think it's something that it's missing and I love the Galaxy S25 Ultra because it already has that feature so this coming to Pixel I think is only good news. Anyway let me know in the comments below. Before you head off why not subscribe to the Android Authority channel and if you do that then I'll see you in the next video.